Since 2008, more than 5 million pinwheels for prevention have been planted across America in support of healthy child development and communities that care for families. Coming up on Polk Place, we'll learn about an upcoming event that Heartland for Children has with the Lakeland Flying Tigers. Make sure you stick around. Welcome to Polk Place. I'm your host, Jeremy Moretti, and with me today, we've got three wonderful guests with us. Uh, the first is Kathy Southern, who's the Director of Education and Community Relations for Heartland for Children, and Dan Lauer, who's the Assistant General Manager for the Lakeland Flying Tigers, and Varuch Simmons, who is the Prevention Resource Specialist for Heartland for Children. Thank you all for coming on. Thanks for you having bet. us. Thanks for having us. Well, wonderful to have you back. Always love seeing you around. Thank you. And uh, today we've got a big thing coming up with uh, flying tigers, and let's let's get into it. Let's start <laughs> talking. Well, um, as you're aware, but we'll we'll make sure we talk about it for for everyone in the audience. That Heartland for Children is um, the private nonprofit agency that's charged with the redesign of the foster care system here locally. So we oversee the foster care adoption system. And part of our goal is to really prevent child abuse and neglect in all of the counties that we serve. Mm -hmm. And so um, in Polk County this year, we're going to be joining again with the National Pinwheels for Prevention campaign that's hosted by Prevent Child Abuse America and Prevent Child Abuse Florida to blanket our community in pinwheels. We do this every year. We brought some here on the set for you. Yep. Um, and that's a reminder to prioritize children and, it, and really we want everybody to know that they have a part in preventing child abuse and neglect. So during that month, you'll see those displayed. There's a lot of opportunities for folks to get involved and one of those things that we're doing is partnering with the Flying Tigers to have pimples in the park. All right. Well, Dan, tell us <laughs> everything's coming to, together with uh, you guys out on the north side. So yeah. tell us what uh, Pinwheels in the Park, what all you guys have planned. Yeah, this is a great event. Um, Kathy and I were talking, I mean, this is our eighth annual event upcoming in April. Wow. Uh, so it's a, it's a terrific event that's really, you know, withstood the test of time. You know, when we first started talking about it, I was very unaware, A, about, you know, all the statistics and everything that's going on in our community here. Um, and that April was Child Abuse Prevention Month. So we partnered up and had some initial ideas and um, it's, it's really flourished front, uh, since then and it's just a neat opportunity to combine their message with our entertainment with the baseball team and uh, it's always a lot of fun. Well, that's always yeah. a fun time. I mean, one, I always love to see like the Flying Tigers, you guys come up with some great marketing stuff. I mean, that's always, <laughs> Thank you, you wanna see some great marketing ideas, you know, you guys come up with some good stuff. Thank you. Um, but it, it's a good community event, and you guys provide such a great, you know, now newly renovated place um, to to come out with the family and everything. So, uh, it's yeah, and, it, and it's and it's and it's because of that that it's such a seamless relationship um, with you know with Heartland for Children and what they're trying to do in the month of April and beyond, obviously. So it's it's a neat thing to be able to do that. And, and again, we. Families come out, the kids come out, the grandparents, parents. Uh, we do fireworks on that game. Um, this year, because of the proximity with Easter, we're also doing an Easter egg hunt after the game. So, kids, so I mean, yes. again, you know, the message will be there. Um, you know, you come out, you, you watch some baseball, but you're really going to learn a lot about what Heartland for Children does, which is really the, the reason for it. I mean, the baseball game kind of gets in the way there, but um, this relationship is great. And, and eight years, like we mentioned, is. I don't know that it necessarily gets the the way. I mean, it it's the vehicle for it. I mean, for that night to, to pull it you in. It enhances it. For yeah, sure. I mean, yeah, yeah. certainly. And <laughs> well, you, and, I, and I say that because there's well, yeah. always so much stuff going on, you know. <laughs> there you know, there's, there's there's is a lot, lot of yeah. activity, sure. which is a good thing, you know. Uh, all the kids walking around with their pinwheels and just uh, folks stopping by tables on the concourse to talk about and learn about. Um, the different programs and agencies and everything that's going on here in the community. So, so what all do you guys do during the game? I mean, is it you know statistics? Is it interaction? What what can folks expect? Well, we definitely want to get the message out there on how individuals can make a difference. And one of the things we want to do, I brought a little poster for you here, is we want to make sure parents actually 
understand that there's good parenting going on and we want to encourage that. So we do messaging surrounding that, surrounding um, our positive parenting norms in our community. So that's one of the things we, me we message. We don't really talk about um, statistics as in the sense that you would think you know, um, about children being abused. It's really because this, the focus of this month is about what we can do to strengthen families. Mm -hmm. So as Dan mentioned, we have individuals there, well agencies there, that talk about what um, programs they have available for children and families, how important understanding what healthy child development is and, and what it looks like, how we can donate our time and, and advocate for the voices of children. So that's really what the focus is during the, during the game. But we also oh. have fun activities, door <laughs> prizes, and Dan has a lot of um, fun out there on the field yeah. um, with activities. And um, We so just incorporate children and everything we're doing too. You know, we, we try to find children that are same play ball, they're running the rosin bag out to the mound, mm -hmm. first pitch. If we can recognize certain individuals who have made a difference um, as it relates to this event, you know, we recognize them. So it's, mm -hmm. again, it's, we just try to educate people. You mm -hmm. know, again, we use a, sort of, as you mentioned, our vehicle, you know, for folks coming out to the baseball game, we just use that as an opportunity to educate them, so. Well, I know you guys have had a, you know, great partnership together, but then also, you know, you, you want to talk a little bit about the business partnerships because, I mean, it's, it's a community effort. Yeah, yeah, certainly. So child abuse prevention um, is definitely um, one of the, the key aspects that the business community should be interested in. I know that the CDC released a, a, a recent study that said that um, depression alone um, caused over 200 million lost days of work. Now, um, for the economy, that meant probably around 17 to 44 billion dollars um, of lost income. Um, so from a business perspective, it's definitely, you know, within our best interest to have a look at how we can make families stronger. Um, you know, there are various ways that um, the business community can do, and uh, I'd like to say that they have been doing. Um, one thing um, is implementing family-friendly policies. That can be um, from as simple as flexible time um, to allowing um, parents, if things pop up, you know, they can leave work early to go take care of their family and be able to um, make that time up. Um, or using their corporate sponsored events to invite uh, local community partners who um, have resources that um, when families have those trying times, they can benefit from. Also, businesses have huge uh, public policy capital that they can use to lobby um, for more uh, policies that impact families and encourage that uh, healthy family foundation. All right, yeah. well, that's wonderful. We also have pinwheels that yeah. they can display here locally. So our local businesses have been amazing at planning pinwheel gardens and hosting pinwheel displays that we, um, we have little vases that the pinwheels are in and we have cards um, that focus on how they can get resources as well. So um, businesses that are interested in that can, can actually contact Bridge at Heartland for Children. All right, mm -hmm. sounds great. Well, thank awesome. you guys so much for coming in and looking forward to pinwheels on the park coming yeah. up. And should be a good time. We're excited. Yeah. Thank, well, you. thank you. <laughs> Join the Lakeland Flying Tigers and Heartland for Children for Pinwheels in the Park on April 20th at Publix Field at Joker Market Stadium to help raise awareness about the importance of keeping children safe and strengthening families in our community. Gates open at 5 and the game starts at 6. Advanced tickets are $7 and $10 at the gate. April is National Child Abuse Prevention Month, which offers many opportunities for individuals and businesses to take part in Pinwheels for Prevention campaign. Pinwheels in the Park is a fun family event that helps to raise awareness about how each of us can positively impact the lives of children and families in our community. The Lakeland Flying Tigers will wear pinwheel jerseys and there will be numerous activities for children and their families, including an Easter egg hunt with tens of thousands of eggs on the field and fireworks after the game. During the game, there will also be a photo booth, bounce houses, free door prizes available to all attendees. There will also be a large pinwheel made out of pinwheels displayed on the berm of the stadium prior to the game. And there will also be an opportunity for children to participate in a pinwheel parade. For more information, call 863-519-8900 or contact them on their website at heartlandforchildren.org.